Assalamu alaikum I am Asma Mushtaq from the Double Vibes and in this tutorial we are going to design a combinational circuit in which we will be taking the nines complement of a BCD number what is a BCD number a BCD number is a number whose base is 10 this BCD number is represented in a 4 bits in 4 bits fine and uh, for its range is from 0 to 9 all right so for 4 bit binary combination and we have the starting or the initial combination which is equal to 0, 0, 0, 0, then 0, 0, 0, 1 for 1. 2 is represented as 0, 0, 1, 0. Why? Because as the summation of their weight. So the first bit is represented as 2 raised to power 0, then 2 raised to power 1, 2 raised to power 2, and then 2 raised to power 3. In order to get 4, we have to turn on this bit while rest of the bits will be equal to 0. So in this way we actually generate 4 bit binary combinations. Also we know that the range of any BCD number is from 0 to 9. Okay, So that's why we will only consider BCD or binary combinations from 0 to 9 till 9 over here. And for rest of the combinations we will treat them as the don't care conditions. Now what we have to do, we have to design a combinational circuitry that will be taking the nines complement of the BCD number. So the first BCD number that we encounter is 0, 0, 0, 0. And in order to take the nines complement, what we do, we will actually subtract each number from 9. So this is the binary combination of 9 and the first number is 0. So when you will perform this subtraction, you will see it becomes 1, 0, 0, 1. So here the output combination will be 0, oh sorry, 1, 0, 0 and 1. Similarly, for the 9's complement of 1, what we will do, 0, 0, 0, 1, we will subtract it from 9 and hence you can see 1 minus 1, 0, then 0, then 0 and 1, which means it's equal to 8. Then we have to write 7. Why? Because if you subtract 9 minus 2, we will have to write the equivalent of 7. Similarly, 9 minus 3 is equal to 6. So 0, 1, 1, 0. Then 5, 0, 1, 0, 1. After 5, you have to write 4. Then 3, 2, 1. And finally, 0. So the 9's complement of 9 is equal to 0 since 9 minus 9 is equal to 0. Once you are done with filling this input output table, the next step is to use the cape map for determining the expression for these fun uh, variables like w, x, y, z are basically the output columns where each bit is representing the individual function. This function can be determined using the Karnoff map. So let's just do that. So if you look at the function w, only min term m0 and m1 are equal to 1 while rest of the min terms are equal to 0 till the binary combination or BCD number 9. What about for the rest of the 4 bit combinations? We treat rest of the output bits as the don't care conditions and these don't care conditions exist for the mean term 9 to 15 all right so from mean term 10 to 15 what we will place we will place the don't care while w is 1 for only mean term 0 and mean term 1. When you will join these two consecutive boxes, the output function for the w will be equal to a complement since it is in 0 form, then b complement as it is also 0. Then we actually write down only that literal which doesn't change. So c doesn't change, that's why it will be equal to c complement. Fine. Now let's determine the output function for the x and First of all, you will place 1s. So this is min term 0, 1. They both are 0. Then 2, 3, 4, 5, all are equal to 1. So if you start counting, min term, so 0, 1 is 0. Then 2, 3, 4, 5. 
are equal to 1 while we know that rest of the bits are in don't care conditions all right and from here we will determine the expression for output function x or output variable x let's join these four consecutive boxes okay and here since b is not changing so we will write b and here c is not changing so c is zero that's why it will be written in its complemented form now these two min terms will be combined with these two min terms and here we will have plus b complement while c this is also the expression of b xor c all right now the next output function which is y in this case so in case of y what we have to do first of all we will place the don't care conditions again in the k map while we will see 0 1 2 3 so 2 3 min terms are equal to 1 2 3 4 5 then 6 and 7 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 min terms are equal to 1 and now we can actually combine these eight boxes and from here you will get the expression for the function y which is equal to c in this case fine because only c is not changing the last output function is z and first again we will place the don't care conditions in the card of map then zeroth min term is equal to one then one is zero then two three is zero then four five is zero then six seven is zero eight min term is equal to one all right now let's see how we can actually join so basically these four boxes will be combined with these four boxes okay and from here you will get the final expression of z which is equal to so which term is not changing this is basically equal to d complement all right so here it can be seen that we have determined the expressions for the w x y and z these are our output function variables while a b c d are input function variables okay and let's assume that if i do write a over here since i need the complement of a so i can also apply the nand gate sorry not gate before that but let's just start writing it so w is equal to a complement b complement and c complement so what i will do i will add an inverter before a b and c okay and then the next step is what in the next step i have to and these three terms in order to generate the output function w okay then what I have to do, I have to represent x as the b complement c and b c. So first I can take b complement from here, b complement and c, I will and them, then b c complement. So what we can do, we can take b from here okay and c complement from here and and them together finally they will be ORed in order to generate the output function x finally y is equal to c so this is basically c and here you can simply write this is equal to y while z is equal to d complement so let's just apply the inverter and generate z from it so this is basically the combinational circuitry that will be taking the nines complement of any bcd number thank you for watching